I don't sign anything until I know who or what I'm dealing with. You are as smart as they say. I'm smarter, actually. I just don't let people know that unless they're paying for my services. I know this is out of the ordinary, Zack. But this meeting ends now unless you sign. <sighs> Fine. I grab the computer pad and stylus from the little ex-lawyer. It's worth signing just to find out what it is that you're so desperately trying to keep quiet. Signature confirmed. All right, BB. The meter's running, so don't waste my time with any more games. What's this about? I need you to find something. I hope you're going to be a little more specific. Computer, Holovid, BB2. The lights on her desk glowed brighter. BB turned to me, and it was clear that she didn't like saying this aloud. This is what I need you to find. The playback system activated, and the holographic life-sized image of a woman appeared on the desk between us. But it wasn't just any woman. It was BB herself. Is she your clone? If only it were that simple. Its name is BB2, for obvious reasons, and it... It is a droid. You're aware, of course, that it's a capital offense to construct a droid with human skin tones. Hence my great need for secrecy. Is she... I don't know, some sort of homage to yourself? It was meant to be used as a spy. An android spy that looks exactly like you. And you thought that this would be effective? That maybe your competitors would give trade secrets away to someone who they thought was you? This was a project created by my late husband. I was completely unaware of it until after his death. Imagine my surprise. I had to admit, this was certainly shaping up to be worth the price of admission. Why don't we start at the beginning? B.S. Star was a very rich and very eccentric man, as you are no doubt aware. He originally designed the droid for purposes of industrial espionage. A beautiful woman, after all, has told many more secrets than a man. However, sometime after B.S. and I had married, he decided to change the specs. Engineers hate it when that happens. B.S. decided that the droid should be a copy of me, an improved copy. He secretly recorded my brain patterns while I was sleeping in order to give the droid my personality. Or at least the aspects of my personality of which he approved. He was planning to replace me. Why not? He had the money and the power. He wanted to have his beautiful blonde trophy at his side. He wanted her to obey his every whim and fulfill his every desire. He just didn't want her to think for herself. So he built the cybernetic bimbo... And just to give it some multitasking abilities, he also had it designed to serve as his personal bodyguard. The perfect trophy wife? The perfect weapon. It was all he had ever wanted. So she... It. So it isn't your average android? Hardly. To begin with, it has a plutonium core. A nuclear-powered android. Oh, good. My late husband had a tendency to overdo things. He was rich and powerful, and he wanted the entire universe to know it. Even when he was spending credits on something very few beings would or could ever know about. Exactly how powerful is she? It. Computer. BB2 specs. The hologram of the android split lengthwise down the middle to reveal its anatomy. Computer-generated arrows appeared, pointing to various features and add-ons. BB-2 is constructed from an artificial carbon alloy simulating external human body parts to a level indistinguishable from the original by all but the most sophisticated detection technology. The plutonium core powers advanced cybernetic and bionic internal mechanisms, making the unit approximately 150 times stronger and 176 times more durable than organic carbon-based human beings. This measurement is based on a calculation derived from a core sampling of 1,000 humans. Computer, just cut to the chase. I do not understand the command. Just the facts. I don't need to know how you came up with them. As you wish. The unit's reflexes are 200 times faster than those of a normal human. Its senses are far more extensive as well. Visual sense spans the entire light spectrum. Olfactory sense can detect and analyze airborne substances as minute as 0.001 microns. Auditory sensors can detect sounds as faint as 0.001 decibels. Now this just gets better and better. The unit also has the ability, through auditory and visual stimulation, to psionically dominate the minds of humans, even those possessing natural psionic abilities. I get the point. You don't want to make her... it... mad. It is a weapon. But at its core, the droid is also a computer. Its central processing unit is experimental and very advanced. 
It also possesses extensive and extendable databases in its memory. It has information on everything from the gross profits of all the corporations to a list of all Excel employees, past and present. Which is why you can't send any of your own people directly after her. It. It would identify them and possibly kill them instantly. What about me? Being a pseudo-famous person, I'm bound to attract its attention if I get close. It might connect me to you. True, but I think it will consider several other possibilities for your existence before it comes to the conclusion that you are working for me. Therefore, you will have a window of opportunity in which to capture it. What if word leaks out that I was here? I have taken care of that already. Why doesn't that make me feel better? Forgive me, Zack. But at these prices, I think you can stand a little discomfort. When did it escape? Two weeks ago. It broke free of its internment cell, put two security guards into intensive care, destroyed a guard bot, and reduced the minds of two of my most expensive scientists to infant level. It's been loose for two weeks? It could be anywhere by now. I consider this to be an Excel matter. I had hoped that we could handle it internally. I was wrong. This droid is an angry and bitter machine, Zack. I have no idea what it wants, where it is going, or what it is planning. But it will not hesitate to kill anyone who stands in its way. And there is no telling the extent of the damage it will do if it is not stopped. Our profilers tell me that if it gets angry or severely agitated, it could turn psychotic and go on a killing spree. And an android like that could kill hundreds of people before it was stopped. Not to mention the trillions in lawsuits that Excel would be facing. Yeah, you're all heart. Just for the record, if this thing gets to that level, I'm calling in the authorities. If you do, Zack, then I assure you that I will ruin your life in every possible manner. You do whatever you need to, BB. I'm not about to let innocent people die just to keep your dirty secret. Let us hope then, Zack, for both our sakes, that the situation never comes to that. <laughs>